I get really triggered when people use passive aggressive um, language to me. And a lot of streamers, for some, a lot of gamers, for some reason, love using passive aggressive language. And I will always tell them, like, do not talk to me like that. I would rather people be aggressive than passive aggressive. Because it's okay like, to have disagreements or like if I do something wrong. But um, when they say passive aggressive stuff, <laughs> I was talking to Lily about this the other day. I hate it when someone types sigh to me. S I G H. When they type sigh to me, when I tell them something, they say sigh. I said, okay, I get it. I get it. You're not happy with the situation. How about you tell me what's wrong? Or like what the solution is? Instead of saying, Sigh. Fuck you, motherfucker. Sigh. Like, if they're venting about something, like a sad day, it's like, Oh man, my dog got run over. Sigh. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> Sorry for your loss. But if we're having an argument, it's like, God, uh, I can't believe you did that to me. Why would you do that? Sigh. Like, or if I say, hey, um, we're going to do this at this time. And you hit me with a sigh. It's like, okay, look, I know something I said wasn't agreeable to you. Well, which part was it? Is it the time? Is it the location? Is it the actual activity itself? <laughs> uh, one other one is uh, we kind of meme about it with my friends. Like, they they like to say this just to like trigger me, but uh, it's the it's the word. But okay, it's like. I say, oh, the sun is, I don't know, a, a thousand miles away. Um, and then someone says, no, it's not, but okay. <laughs> it's like they're disagreeing with you, but then they say, but okay. It's like... I think Morgana is the best champion in League of Legends. No, she's not, but okay. It's condescending. It's like, they're saying they disagree with you, but it's like, you, th you think that, honey. You, you go ahead and think that, sweetie. I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to have a discussion with you. You're wrong, but you know. But okay. Because <sighs> that, that's how they always use it, right? It's like they're saying you're wrong, but they won't like engage in a discussion with you or tell you like what they find disagreeable. Or it's not even like, like if something, if, if someone says something that they don't agree with, sometimes they just let it go. It's like, oh, I don't agree with that, but um, I also don't want to like talk about or have a discussion or have an argument. Does it? What most people would be like, oh, okay. But if you want to say you disagree with it, you should explain why. It's like, what kind of person says you're wrong and bye, you're wrong, but okay, we're not going to have a discussion. You're wrong though. <laughs> I'm really passionate about passive aggressive language. I, I try, I try my best, like when my friends do it, I feel like a nagging dad at times. And I do apologize to my friends. It's like, I do nag them a lot on their use of language. One thing Scar does that I always like try and like nudge him to not do is the difference between I don't mind and I don't care is a lot. Hey Scar, what do you want to eat tonight? I don't care. Wow, that's <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> but I know what he means is I don't mind because I know Scar. 
Scar is always down to like hang out and eat food and like be with friends. And when he says I don't care, he he means like I'm down to do whatever everyone wants to do. Like I'm happy with that. Like I just like being there. But he says I don't care. And every time he does it, I get a little triggered. Because I know what you mean, Skara. You mean it in a nice way. So why do you say I don't care? Why can't you say, I'm cool with anything. I don't mind. Whatever you guys want to do. All of that has such a positive feeling to it. Why do you say, I don't care? Toast, isn't that more on you than on them? Ask anyone in chat, which one sounds better? You ask your mom, hey mom, you know, do you want to go get your nails done or get your hair done? And she's like, I don't care. Or it's like, hey, whichever one you want to do. It's like, oh, thanks, mom. There's a different one. Like the difference is, thanks, mom. Or my mom's kind of a bitch. That's the difference. And you just have to change one word. The reason why I get triggered about these things is because the amount of like effort you need to put in is so minuscule to the amount of positivity you can bring or like constructiveness. And it's something I, I, I talk about a lot and I talk to like my viewers a lot about is because I feel like I assume quite a few of you do use the language I'm talking about. Quite a few of you, I'm sure, type psi or say, but okay. And this isn't meant as an attack. And this isn't a case like you should change for other people. Like you should change, right? It's more like these are the things you can do to make the other party feel better. Right. I feel like all this is doing is giving you guys ways to trigger me more because I see nothing but but okay in my chat now. And I, I bet when I whenever I stream, people are gonna type like that now. Like when I made a make a bad play, and I say, oh, you know. It could have worked out. Chat's gonna say, "No, it couldn't." <laughs> but but okay, but okay. You you think that toast? You think that, honey? Look, you can do that to me, but you know, to people you care about, a little effort on your language goes a long way. Uh. Also, honey and sweetie is kind of condescending. Like, those words have become tainted in my eyes because of Karens and, like, Twitter people. Like, it's just meant in such a condescending, condescending manner. Sweetie, why are you in my Twitter chain? Oh, sweetie. Look, I don't advocate for bullying. But, how do I put this? I don't think anyone ever deserves to be bullied. But, no, 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 let me try again. How do, I, how do I say this? Some people need to touch grass and spend like a year in the real world. There you go. 
Nailed it.